There is no climate crisis, and we're not in the midst of an energy transition either. That's U.S. President-elect Donald Trump's pick for Energy Secretary, Chris Wright, founder and CEO of a billion-dollar fracking company and an ardent defender of the oil and gas industry. The only thing resembling a crisis with respect to climate change is the regressive, opportunity-squelching policies justified in the name of climate change. Those views right in line with one of Trump's top campaign promises to increase energy production in the U.S. in a bid, he says, to bring down inflation. We will drill, baby, drill. Wright joins other Trump nominees announced this week, all Washington outsiders who have criticized the agencies they could soon lead. Critics have raised alarm over their controversial views and track records. Fantastic event. This weekend, Trump's pick for Defense Secretary Pete Hegseth released a statement through his lawyer stating that he paid a settlement in 2017 to a woman who accused him of sexual assault, though he says the encounter was consensual. As allegations come out, we'll figure out if, as, as the Senate moves forward with the advising consent to the President of the United States and doing our constitutional duties, yeah. we'll figure out if he can get confirmed or I not. Then there's Trump's pick for Attorney General Matt Gates. U.S. lawmakers continue to demand the release of a congressional report investigating his drug use and sexual misconduct allegations. They want access to all available information so they can make a decision about whether the nominee for attorney general is qualified to serve in that office. This weekend, no signs of concern from Trump, who was in New York for an ultimate fighting championship event with his other eyebrow-raising picks, RFK Jr. and Tulsi Gabbard. Chris Reyes, CBC News, New York.